What is up? What is going on? Arvin here. And today, on this episode of Driven to Draw, I'm going to sketch the sweet looking Hot Wheels Batmobile. Because you know, everyone loves Batman. Hey there, my name is Arvind and welcome to Driven to Draw where I teach you how to reduce your stress and develop your creative abilities and have some fun with drawing and painting. So if you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button. So uh, let's get it on. All right, so I told you before today we're going to look at uh, sketching some Hot Wheels uh, cars here. So one of the things that I'm going to do here is I've got a, a underlay and an underlay is really just having a drawing underneath and then sketching over on top of it. So what I've got is a, a sketch of a, of a car and what I'm going to do is take this image that I have with uh, a Hot Wheel Batmobile. Now I don't know if any of you guys know but I'm a huge fan of Batman and a lot of superheroes I am completely and totally into superhero stuff so I don't know how many of you out there like this kind of stuff but I know that I love it so anything that has to do with like Avengers and Marvel movies and that sort of thing I just I just love it I, I mean I don't I'm not very vocal about it I don't really talk about it that much about my hobbies and what I like but if you can see in back of me, I've got a, a ton of, <laughs> well, I've got a few figures here and there and that I like to collect. And uh, it's just part of my interest. I've always been into to things like movie poster art and that sort of thing and collecting figures. And, you know, my kids now are kind of into that, <laughs> which is crazy, really crazy. So what I'm going to do here is... Uh, just slowly walk through uh, my methodology of just uh, looking at some of these Hot Wheels and just replicating what it is that I see. So I've got a program and a software here. It's called Krita, and Krita allows me to really look at sketching um, or, or just utilizing certain tools that really mimic analog approaches to drawing so sometimes I'm going to be drawing with traditional pen and paper or pencil and paper and sometimes I'm going to be drawing with a digital tablet I've got a course that's coming up that gets into digital painting and and how to do exercises and some really cool stuff so be on the lookout for that what I've got here is I've got Krita that I'm using like I mentioned and we're gonna start with just doing some line drawings. Uh, I've got already a perspective that I've uh, set up previously with another drawing and I'm just kind of using that as my base to uh, sketch this uh, Batmobile right here. Now, I want you to notice something as I start going through this particular drawing. As I start to define the shapes, and I want to be very particular about what the shapes are and what they do and how they transition to one shape to another. What I do is typically draw things in sections. So a section is, if you imagine just taking a car and then you just slice with a knife right through the area uh, of interest. So let's say you really enjoy what the front quarter panel or the front quarter section of the car looks like. When you start to look at the forms and you, and you just cut through the body, you're going to be left with a profile of the shapes and how they transition from one shape to another. And that's what you need to kind of cultivate as you start to sketch things that are more complicated. Because you really want to understand how does one shape transition to another and not make it look awkward? So one of the things I really appreciate about this is that this design itself and what it is that they're doing uh, with even Hot Wheels, they can create some pretty interesting shapes. 
That's what's really cool about Hot Wheels, because Hot Wheel toys are, are great. You can, there's so many different kinds of shapes and uh, ways that they've designed these little $1 cars that it's an excellent way to use as reference just to understand what kind of interesting forms that they can come up with. And then you can take that, take some pictures of them, and then use them as a reference, as a starting point, and then you can kind of modify things as you kind of go along. That's exactly what I'm doing right here, is I'm just going to maybe change the front of the car a little bit and just see I'm, I'm working through these sections and defining what that centerline section looks like. But I'm using the, the main picture as a starting point. And then just in the areas where the exhaust is, I'll, I'll maybe switch it up a little bit. And then here I'm just defining that section. So here you've got, uh, you've got uh, right by the wheel, the front wheel, um, just looking at that side facing or the surface transition to the uh, uh, front end of the vehicle. I've decided to switch that up a little bit instead of having a wheel well just above it with that little bit of a shoulder to give it an aggressive look. I've taken that away and just made it a little bit smoother. And then I'm just going to change the, the exhaust, put something else in here. I'll add some more details here on the side. And I'm going to keep it as a line drawing because I don't really know what I'm going to do with this yet. So once I just finish the line drawing, we might go back in and render it. Maybe I'll just do that as a separate video. So then from that standpoint, we can do some lighting studies, take the existing toy that I got, or the Hot Wheel that I've got here, and then we can um, change the colors a little bit. We could just do some experimentations. But right now, before I do any of that stuff, it's just important that this looks correct, that it, some things don't look off. If you guys have some questions, just go ahead and comment below in the comment sections and uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you like this kind of stuff, this kind of content, let me know. Because, you know, I, I do a lot of these automotive stuff, but I got to tell you that the, the joy of just drawing is not really centered around a particular subject. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've really gotten into drawing portraits and just expanding my skills a little bit. And it's really important to do that because you don't have to stick to one particular uh, subject you don't, or, or commodity. Uh, it really is good to kind of flex and stretch your brain out a little bit to draw things that you're not used to. Now on the wheels, I'm putting a little bit of a, a bat symbol taking out the, the generic wheels that you typically see and just doing something a little bit different and creating these sharp spokes. Looks kind of like a, uh, a throwing star, like a ninja throwing star. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do here, I'll just go back and I'm going to define the section a little bit so I know what these shapes are doing. So we'll characterize that hump, that shoulder here, right above the wheel. Okay. I think this is good for now. We're going to leave it at this. We'll just finish off some of the other sections here. And then that's it. So I think uh, on the next video, maybe we'll explore some shapes. So I might even modify this. I don't know what we're going to do. But uh, once I get to that, we can... We can uh, go through that in the next video so hope you enjoyed this i will see you guys here next week and the following week we're going to go back and switch it up to some other different subjects so uh hope you enjoyed this we'll see you here next time on driven to draw keep drawing guys have a good one